Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you saw by the title, today's video is going to be another wedding series vlog. I know I've been coming back to back with all the wedding series vlogs, but we are so close to the big day. We are literally one month away. Today is Friday, April 7th, and our wedding is on May 7th, so it is coming up so fast and we are so excited. We have pretty much finalized all our wedding details, our timeline, decoration, seating chart, and all that good stuff. So. I'm so excited, as you can probably tell, and again, you're going to hear that word, excited, so if you are sick of that word already, I apologize in advance. As you saw by the title, today's vlog is also going to be my bridal shower party, and funny story is, this was actually supposed to be a surprise bridal shower, but I just kind of started catching on to all these little things, but I didn't want to say anything just because I wasn't certain, but... I heard my fiance talking to his mom on the phone and I heard the word bridal shower and during my bachelorette weekend I heard one of my friends tell my sister see you in a few weeks and I was like hmm the wedding is still about two months away so again I didn't want to say anything just because I wasn't certain and then I started getting gifts sent in from friends as bridal shower gifts like this bar cart um, it is the latest addition to our apartment and I think it is so cute that was a bridal shower gift and that kind of confirmed there was a bridal shower party so I asked my fiance and he just kind of laughed and he was like I'm not gonna say anything talk to your mom my mom my sister they would not give and then I ended up talking to my maid of honor and my mom and my sister and they finally admitted there will be a bridal shower party but I didn't know when and I didn't know all the details now obviously I do but I am so excited my mom my sister and my brother are currently driving over here from the Bay Area so I'm super excited to see them my maid of honor my best friend also flew into town and my future mother-in-law is also traveling from the Bay Area today. So I've just been feeling very excited, very loved, and I've just been so emotional during this wedding planning journey. I was telling my maid of honor, like, my emotions have just been on a roller coaster, basically. I will probably try and give my sister my camera so she can vlog a little bit while they set up and all the details that are going to go into the bridal shower party, but I'm so excited. I guess I will just check in with you guys tomorrow. For today, I think me and my family are just gonna hang out. I do plan on making the Gigi Hadid vodka pasta since it's been a while since I made that and I think that'll be really good for lunch. There is also a espresso martini recipe that I have just been trying to finalize and nail down. So I think I'm gonna make that for them today as well. I am going to use it with the Haha tequila I got a few weeks back. I did share that in a vlog a few weeks ago. So I think that will be really good. But yeah, I will check in with you guys in a bit. All right, so here is everything I am going to be putting into my espresso martini. I am just making one for right now so I can just kind of finalize my recipe before my family gets here and before I make them some. But basically, this is everything I'm going to be putting in. I am going to be using my Haha ha tequila in this recipe. I am a tequila girl. Every single time I order espresso martinis, I always get it with tequila or mezcal. So I am super excited to put this together. I'm also going to try and film a little TikTok or IG reel. So I'm gonna set my camera aside and hopefully I can nail this recipe. So to get started, I'm just brewing my double shot espresso. Next, I am taking my Haha ha tequila and I am pouring in two shots of the tequila into my shaker. I do have it filled with ice already. Next, I am taking a shot of Kalu and adding it into the shaker as well. The next thing I'm adding is some simple syrup. I filled it about halfway and then the rest with my skinny syrup and the mocha flavor and I just throw that in there, add in my espresso and that is it, just shake it all up. Next you wanna get a chilled martini glass and just pour it in and there you go, you have yourself an espresso martini. So here is how the espresso martini came out. Looks super good. I cannot wait to try it. Okay, I'm gonna try and drink this before I spill it everywhere. Ooh, that's really good. It's really not too sweet, but it's really good. Cheers. All right, next, so I'm going to make the Gigi Hadid vodka pasta. Here's everything I'm putting in. I just have some heavy whipping cream, vodka, olive oil, some basil to garnish it with. I have some bread that I'm gonna throw in the oven. 
I have a red onion, you can use a shallot if you have one, some tomato paste, crushed red pepper, butter, Parmesan cheese, and some noodles, and some garlic. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly put this all together right now. My garlic and top it with like some seasonings, Italian seasoning. It is the following day. Today is Saturday, my bridal shower party. Right now, my maid of honor, my mom and my sister are actually setting up and I have about an hour before it starts. So I've just kind of been hanging out. Yesterday, me and my family just kind of hung out around the apartment. I did end up making them some of the espresso martinis and they were a hit. I am absolutely obsessed and I can't wait to make it again. If you wanna try it out, I will go ahead and leave my recipe in the description below. So definitely check it out. I made the vodka pasta again, which was a hit. And then we ended up going to a brewery with some of our friends. It's a ton of fun. They have really good beer. It was in Anaheim. I am just kind of hanging out right now. My fiance is getting ready to head out and pick up his mom to bring her over for the bridal shower. And I guess I'll just quickly show you guys what I am wearing. So here is the outfit I am wearing for the bridal shower. I did just get this dress on Amazon and I do think it is super cute super comfy and then just these white heels i did wear these on my bachelorette trip in vegas and they are kind of broken into now so they are pretty comfortable i'll be honest they were not comfortable during the bachelorette trip but now that i have kind of broken them in they are pretty comfy but that is the outfit the jewelry is all just very simple but yeah i will go ahead and check in with you guys in a bit my mom ended up getting this little like fake suit for sparky i can't it is so cute and this is our color like a little dusty rose he looks so handsome he's going to be joining us at the bridal shower as well and you look so handsome in your suit <laughs> and then i also have my brother's dog here sage sage you want to say hi <laughs> so sparky's had a little friend this entire weekend but yeah
Okay. All right, we're gonna go with the honor That's system nice. here. Nice. How old is the group? 30. 30. 30. Right. How many children do they want? Two. One. 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 Or zero. I will take one or two. Yeah. appropriately.
guys so it is the following day please excuse my voice I did kind of end up losing my voice again and it's seeming to be a pattern after every bridal event but I had so much fun my maid of honor did an amazing job planning everything and coordinating everything and a huge shout out for my mom and my sister for helping plan and execute it as well it was a huge success I had so much fun everything was decorated so cute and we did some games did some karaoke I honestly had a, such an amazing time and I was just feeling so so loved yesterday like I said my maid of honor did fly in from NorCal just to host my bridal shower and my mom and my sister and my brother did also end up driving up here from the bay as well as my future mother-in-law and my future brother-in-law so it definitely meant a lot that they came all the way here just for my bridal shower but I had so much fun we are less than 28 days away from the wedding I honestly I cannot believe it but I am so excited I wanted to quickly pop on here, me and my fiance just kind of running some errands right now, but I did want to quickly pop on here to close out today's video. I know, again, I am back to back with all the wedding series vlogs, but I hope you're enjoying them. As always, I will have my wedding series vlogs left in my description below so you can binge all those other videos. You're getting so close to the big day and I am so, so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Again, it might be a little bit all over the place, but I had so much fun. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.